Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to open HTML links in a new tab. And real quick, why would we wanna do this? Well, at least for external links, you wanna open those in new tabs in order to keep users on your website as long as possible to help with those metrics like user retention and whatnot. So um, for internal links, keep them on your website, but for external links to other domain names, we wanna do that in a new tab. So let me show you how to do this. I will be using WordPress to demonstrate, but these concepts are 100% pure HTML. Uh, I will show you some cool WordPress tips uh, throughout the video uh, if you are using WordPress, but make sure you watch to the end because I do have some additional information about um, no opener and other attributes that are supposedly good practice to use. So let me show you what I mean here. All right, my website is like, comment, subscribe club, and here is a blog post. I have welcome to WordPress in this WordPress link right here. If I click on it, it's not gonna open in a new tab, okay? It's just gonna go directly to wordpress.org and my user is now off of my website. So if I go back, let's look at the page source and see what this looks like. So what we're working with here, we're gonna find welcome to WordPress. Okay, so right now we have a paragraph element from here to here and then we have our href tag here and there are, uh, besides the href tag, besides the href attribute, there are no other attributes. What we basically wanna do is add an attribute that says to open this link in a new tab. So let's go show you how to do that. Let's edit this post. And again, this I'm using WordPress to demonstrate this, but this concept applies to any HTML website. So uh, we will look at this, this is not the visual editor. We will look at the code editor over here. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, what we want to do basically for any website is to add the attribute um, target equals open uh, open quotes underscore blank. Okay. So what this does is essentially opens this link in a new tab. Okay. Let's test it out. So let's update this blog post. We will go back to our website. <clears throat> open this blog post and click on the link. Now, as you can see up here, we have a new tab with wordpress.org in it and the users tab, original tab over here is still open. So it's really that easy to add the uh, underscore target, uh, target underscore blank attribute. Now, like I said, for everybody, please pay attention to this because this is uh, apparently really good practice according to Google. Um, there are some other attributes for uh, doing this type of thing. So let me show you what I mean by that. Let's edit this post again. And what I'm gonna do is um, undo what we just did here. Actually, I'm not gonna do that because it looks like WordPress automatically added the rel no openers, what I wanted to talk about next. So. Um, rel no opener, what does that mean? And there's something else called rel no refer, okay? So let me go back uh, to this tab, which I had hidden and tucked away over here. This is from web.dev, it's a, it's a Google uh, organization, it's from Google, and it says links to cross origin destinations are unsafe. And it's talking about best practices. So basically when, when you link a page on another site using the target underscore blank attribute, you can expose your site to performance and security issues. And it goes on to uh, give some justification for that. And it suggests adding rel no opener and rel no refer to your target dot blank links avoids these issues. So again, regardless if you're using WordPress or some other type of content management system or just using pure HTML, the recommendation is to add no opener and no refer to your tag as well. So that will look something like this, rel no refer, okay? And so we can update that and it's not gonna change the functionality of your website whatsoever because uh, we can come back here and test it out one more time. Uh, go here, go to the blog post and click on that. It's basically gonna open up in a new tab like we would expect. Um, now, the last thing I wanted to show you is how to do this for WordPress users specifically. So we're gonna exit the code editor and there is this toggle, right, that you can add a link to. So if you did not wanna open that in a new tab, you can turn that off. But if you did, you can turn it on. So for WordPress users, it's really easy. 
but uh, to know what's going on under the hood is really important too. Guys, thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I will do my best to help you out. I wanna thank you guys for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this for me in the future. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.